The family of Gabisile Shabane and her cousin Kosi Konangwenya have welcomed the two life sentences imposed, imposed on Temba Tubane for the killing of uh, the two children. Judge Sheila Mpatlele sentenced Tubane to two life sentences in five years uh, for his part in the house breaking, kidnapping and the killing of the two children in January last year. Judge Mpatlele says that she found no compelling reasons for deviating from the minimum applicable sentence. On Monday, Tubane pleaded guilty to seven charges that included housebreaking, kidnapping and murder of Gavisile Shabane, who was living with albinism and her one-year-old cousin Kosikona Nguenya. And that was in January last year. Tubane and three co-accused broke into the children's home and abducted them. Three other accused, Togozani Msibi, Knowledge Mflanga and Brilliant Mkize, have denied all the charges against them. Shabana's body was found in Cullinan, east of Pretoria, and the other body was found on the N4 highway. To get uh, some reaction on the, the sentencing, we're now joined on the line by Co Commissioner Nomasonto Mazibuko, who's the founder of the Albinism Society of South Africa. Thank you so much indeed for joining us. Uh, your thoughts on the sentencing uh, that you heard today? Uh, good afternoon, Peter, and good afternoon to the viewers. I welcome the sentence, Peter, but with a broken heart that we will never get Tandazi uh, back and go to corner as they were so young. And I think the sentence is, sentencing is giving a uh, brainwave to the perpetrators to say, as this day, day and age, that multi killings of people with albinism will not benefit them in any way. Secondly, I would pledge and ask uh, the, 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 the psychology, social development to give counseling and support to the Shabane and Gwenya family. What, what do you think needs to happen to further educate people so that this myth that there's uh, some muti power uh, in uh, uh, harming people living with albinism um, can be dealt with once and for all? We need more funding, more political will. As I'm speaking to you, I'm from Botswana, where uh, we were having a dialogue with the Department of justice, where we're saying they are supply chain, let's educate first the police and let's educate uh, the people who would be seeing those people coming in. Secondly, let them employ people with albinism as a police station and people with disabilities. For instance, even if a deaf person comes to the police station, there's no sign language interpreter. Furthermore, Peter, I'm saying Government must give funding. Though as NGOs we're doing their work, we would like them to fund us. And the political will must know exactly that people with albinism have a right of Article 33 in our, uh, in our Constitution that people says we also need our lives. For instance, think that people who are as intelligent as we have seen her performances, it breaks, us hard, it breaks our hearts as people with albinism to, use, to lose such a very intelligent young woman. Who's most vulnerable uh, from what you've been seeing? Is it children? Is it adults? Is it uh, everybody really who's living with albinism? It is everybody, Peter. But as we are saying, we are looking at South Africa having all the suicide killing of people with albinism, it is a ritual and spiritual femicide where we are saying, let's work together. Where are the spiritual leaders? Where are the Sangomas? Do they really believe in this? And they must work together with the albinism society to break the myth that we don't die, we disappear. And when people come to them, for the powers that being with them. I know, Peter, they should mm. turn to them. People with albinism doesn't give you multi, and you cannot get rich by 
meat to people because the people with albinism are killed and skinned alive. And whilst we're screaming, they think that Muti will be working very hard for them. Where did this myth start? Do, do you have any idea about this origins, uh, perhaps as a, as a way uh, to point to how to start to deal with it? Ever since I started the Albinism Society, Peter, I was asking myself, I want to see the colony where we disappeared to. But I can say it is a research outcome. People with albinism do die because I buried my family members too. People with albinism, who we say they disappear, is when people are taking us for our body parts killing. So we are very sure that the myth of us disappearing is not true. We are trafficked or killed. And the other myth is that when we have a sexual intercourse with a virgin with albinism, your HIV status will be cured. It's a myth. So mm. can people come to tell that we've got a right to be citizens in South Africa, let, that, let them leave us alone. But we cannot do that alone. We have to do it with our family members. Hello? Yes, yes. Family members and the community at large. Government must intervene for our safety. All right, and so do you think that these life sentences, I think you hinted at the beginning, uh, that these life sentences can start to make a difference by sending out a strong message to, to people thinking about perpetrating such crimes? Absolutely, Peter. When it was Tandazil and Pundi, Mr. Kameta got a life sentence. Now it is the second one, Temba, and my Q Temba is a teacher, Peter. Our children are not safe with the educators. But the issue is, uh, Togozani CB is a foreigner. Let, them, let us send the, the, the wavelength to say no one has the right to kill us. Even if he can deny the fact that he is not guilty, he is the perpetrator. And we're looking forward to justice to say, let's meet in May 2020 and see what will happen to Togozani CB. All right. Thank you very, very much indeed uh, for joining us. And uh, we wish you the best uh, in terms of carrying on the good work that you're doing. And let's hope that we have a society free of these kinds of murders. Thanks so much indeed uh, for joining us on the line. That was uh, Namaso Antoma Zabuko, who's the founder of the Albinism Society of South Africa, speaking to us about uh, the life sentence handed down to uh, uh, one of the accused in the, uh, a murder of two children, one of them living with albinism.